The Bosch Axis washer and condensation dryer are well-designed, energy-efficient laundry machines that will give you superb results if you follow a few simple tips. For loading the machine, always sort by fabric type and to create a balanced load, use both large and small items at the same time. So when you're loading your machine, don't be afraid to fill it up to the top. It will easily take a king size set of sheets or a couple of queen size set sh sets of sheets. This is, it's well designed for both large and very small loads. Now that you have the tub load and you're ready to wash, we've come to the most important part, using the right detergent. Front loading washing machines require a special detergent. It's always labeled HE for high efficiency. Remember, these are energy efficient machines that use much less water. If you overuse the HE soap or if you use regular soap, you will have an incredible amount of sudsing in the machine and that will result in not very clean laundry. So following the guidelines for detergent are extremely important. The first compartment will be used for adding the detergent. When using liquid detergent, follow the guides conveniently marked on the guide here at the back. If using powder detergent, lift the guide and push it back and use only the appropriate amount as recommended by the soap manufacturer for small, medium or large loads. The center compartment is for dispensing fabric softener. And the last compartment is used if you're doing a pre-soak for heavily soiled items. It's really important to never add soap directly to the machine. Always use the compartments designed specifically for each product. Now that you've loaded the laundry into the tub and added the appropriate amount of detergent, it's time to select the correct washing mode. Now each of the washing modes is customized to the type of fabric you're washing so that the temperature and the spin speed will be ideal for that fabric. Once you've chosen the appropriate washing cycle and temperature if it's indicated, simply touch the start button, it will be illuminated red, and your laundry will start. When the cycle has finished, you'll see this little button here illuminated next to where it says end. You're now ready to put your clothes in the dryer. Once you take your laundry out of the washing machine at the end of the cycle, you'll be so amazed at how dry the clothes feel. The superior water extraction is one of the great features of your Bosch Axis washer. Light clothes can simply be hung on a hanger to finish drying. Heavier clothes will need some time in the dryer. There's not a lot of maintenance to do on your washing machine. However, there is one important thing that is recommended to keep the machine in really good condition. At the end of the washing cycle, take a dry towel and simply wipe in the crease of the gasket to remove all excess moisture. This will preserve the gasket and ensure optimum washing performance at all times. Now these are some simple tips. I do recommend that you consult your user guide for very thorough and detailed information about the many marvels of washing with your Bosch Axis washer. The Bosch condensation dryer is so well designed. It has a variety of different uh, drying modes and temperature settings appropriate for all the different fabrics that you're going to be drying in here. Each one of these modes and uh, temperature settings is controlled by a moisture sensor in the machine. Now condensation drying cycles are a little longer because the, the machine is not vented. But remember, with the superior moisture extraction you get from the washing machine, they should not be excessively long. You can use a timed program, and, but be sure to choose the type of program that's going to work correctly for the type of fabric you're, you're drying. Now once the cycle comes to an end, it, it will automatically go into a wrinkle block cycle 
if you don't empty the machine. The wrinkle block cycle is designed to prevent creasing of the clothes. So at certain intervals, you'll hear the machine run itself, the clothes will be kept aerated and they won't be sitting in clumps and developing creases. Using the dryer is not difficult. However, there's something that's really important and that is cleaning and maintenance. Now the first important step for maintenance on your dryer is keeping the lint filter clean. After you've completed a load of uh, drying, remove the lint filter and open it. And simply wipe the fluff off from all the, both sides of the, the filter. If excessive amounts of fluff build up in this area, you'll need to take a vacuum cleaner and keep it very, very clean. On the inside of the drum, on the left-hand side, you will feel a moisture sensor. It's two stainless steel bars. From time to time, it's important to wipe the moisture sensor clean. Fine, fine sediment will build up on the sensor. And if it's clogged, it won't do a good job of sensing the degree of dryness of your laundry. Now, the second step for maintenance is keeping the air cooler clean. When it's time to clean the air cooler, it's recommended at least four times a year, or if you see this um, light that um, comes on next to the filter, then it's an indication it's time to do it. You're going to begin by opening the maintenance flap. It's recommended to maybe put a towel under the flap. Some moisture may be uh, held in this cooler. Then you simply swivel the locking screws and gently remove the cover. Then you can pull the handle of the air cooler to remove it. Now it's not difficult to clean the air cooler. Just take it to the kitchen sink and run it under, the, um, under cold water using the spray arm so that the water goes through all the different um, levels here and can get out or any sediment. So do both sides. Don't use any sharp objects to try and clean anything off. Just use water. And when you've finished, carefully slide it back into the compartment with the handle in the lower position. Replace the cover. Be sure to push the screws back into the lock position and close the maintenance flap. So I've given you a few simple tips on how to get the best out of your Bosch Axis washer and condensation dryer. But truthfully, for detailed information and a really good understanding of the amazing features of these machines, please consult your user guide. You'll get a lot out of reading it and you'll find that every time you wash a load of laundry and dry a load, you'll get great results.